slip slip purl is a purl wise decrease that will decrease your number of stitches by one and it is often used on the reverse or purl side of the fabric or sometimes on the right side of the fabric in a purl section like a column of purl of column of pearls and one by one ribbing and this swatch that i've prepared has slip slip purl going up this side and purl two together going up this side and i have them both on the same swatch because they're often used in tandem to create symmetry in your work for example if you're doing waist shaping you want to do decreases on both sides now usually those decreases are done on the right side but sometimes they are done on the wrong side or the purl side so if you flip the slip slip purl over and look at it on the stockinette side it looks just like a slip slip knit and it leans to the left on the stockinette side uh, purl two together just fyi i have another video for that one leans to the right and looks just like a knit two together when you look at it on the reverse side so now i'm going to demonstrate how to do the slip slip purl and if you've looked this up before if you've done it before and you just need a refresher i'm going to show you two ways first i'm going to show you the way that i don't like to do it and then and tell you why and then i'm going to show you the way i do like to do it okay so when you're doing a slip slip purl you will slip one stitch as if to knit and then slip a second stitch as if to knit you cannot slip them together then the way many people show it is you transfer those two stitches back to your left needle kind of purl wise like this bring the yarn forward then purl through the back loop now if you have ever purled through the back loop you know it's kind of a pain and purl through the back loop there we go and that is a slip slip purl and that is one way to do it and it is a correct way to do it however it is not the way i like to do it so i'm going to put these stitches back and show you the way i like to do it because i think it's easier okay so it starts out the same slip one stitch as if to knit slip the next stitch as if to knit then instead of putting your stitches back on the left needle by going in this direction let's go underneath and put them back on the left needle then we can purl in front like normal to finish the stitch and I think that's a lot easier. So now I'm going to show it um, English style. So slip one as if to knit, slip a second one as if to knit, then bring your left needle underneath those two stitches and transfer them back to the left needle. Bring the yarn forward. Remember always to bring it forward between your needles and then purl those two together like so and slide them off your needle that is slip slip purl